Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to New Jersey Motorsports Park in the US. This was released for R Factor 2 last week, so I thought we'd do a 12 lap race around here today in the USF 17, one of my new favourite cars. Uh, I've run a qualifier where I placed 7th out of 24, but to give you an idea, the first 20 cars were all within 1.4 seconds of each other, so it should make for a nice, fun, close race. Let's get this underway and see if we can survive this uh, first corner. No lights here, of course, so just got to watch the flag. Jump that a little bit. Made up a spot there too. The Lightning uh, is one of my probably new favourite tracks. Um, of course, it's modelled brilliantly, uh, but the layout itself is really, really cool. It's a it's a technical circuit. There's some pretty cool double apexes. There's um, coming up now. There's this sweeping right hander over the brow of a hill. So you've got to click the apex, but then watch your power down because there is no runoff there. Um, all round just a brilliant circuit, very well modelled. I love the use of 3D grass as well. I think it really adds to it. So running the, the race at 8.30 in the morning so we get some nice lighting effects as well. This sweeping right-hander might seem simple, <laughs> but you've got to kind of attack it wide at the start drop it down a gear to make the nose turn in, clip that apex, uh, that late apex, and then uh, follow on sweeping out to the left. Okay, so we're up to fifth. Already had an accident. Smash that apex there. So New Jersey itself, oh, oh I've overcorrected. Oh, that was horrible. See, so these USF 17s do let go. So New Jersey itself uh, went under construction in 2007. And one of the things I actually like about um, New Jersey Motorsports Park is the fact that it is a true motorsports park. So it's got two circuits. Um, there's also um, ATV course, motocross course, they run bikes here, they run cars here, they run enduros here. There are two kart tracks which I would love to see. That's the, uh, the Tempest circuit, so it's broken down into two um, smaller circuits, so 0 0.49 and 0 0.53 or so uh, miles in length. I would love to see them brought into R Factor 2 because I'd like to have a crack at them in the karts in DLC. I think they'd be absolutely brilliant. Um, obviously the Thunder Thunderbolt layout, um, known for originally running the Grand Am Rolex series, uh, which stopped in 2012. Of course, though, the first, the very first race that they held here in 2008, there was a massive accident during practice, uh, collision at the end of pit lane at 140 miles per hour, so um, pretty full on, but they made changes almost immediately. Um, and unfortunately, uh, around 2011, um, kind of went into a receivership with financial issues and then came out with a restructure and they've kind of clawed their way back since then. So it's, it's kind of really a, um, a true motorsports park now. There's, um, there's a country club, there's um, driver experience days, there's Skip Barber driver training school here. Um, there's lots of other events, so it's a, it's a pretty cool place to actually go to, and I'd love to, to get here one day. I think it'd be absolutely brilliant to take a drive around here, either circuit. I really like the Lightning, though. It's a very technical circuit, not as long as the Thunderbolt. It's, um, it's only 3K long, but as you can see, it makes for some pretty engaging racing. Like, I'm not having an easy time staying in the top five or even getting into the top three here. Now the reason I'm running the USF 17 is, one, it's it's one of my all, my new favourite cars um, of the official DLCs, but also they run the USF 2000s here. So these are obviously the successors to the 2000s, so I thought it'd be good to see what they're actually like here. And they do pretty well, they're, they're clocking in. I ran the USF 2000s to see how they go, and I'm kind of doing three seconds a lap quicker in the USF 17s than the uh, 2000s. I actually like the feel of the USF 17s better than the 2000s. The uh, the 2000s are a little bit more skittish, but um, the feel of this car um, is f is far superior to the to the 2000s. I love what the guys at Studio 397 are doing with these cars just lately. So um, I hope they keep it up. 
Okay, so we haven't dipped into the 59s yet. I was hoping we could do that during the race. Always pressuring me. Oh. So I put some uh, some setting changes in that uh, a mate of mine, John Simon in Canada, has um, has recommended to make these cars behave more like real people, and it seems to be working. Like they're actually attacking each other, which I, I haven't noticed them do before. Well, not too much before anyway. So they're having a crack at each other and actually giving each other space too. So I, I might put the settings up that I'm running at. So I've got, I've got 108 for skill. Oh no, sorry, no, 109 for skill. Um, 66 for aggression. There's a couple of tweaks in the player JSON file that he passed on to me. Um, I might have a chat with him to see if he wants to put it up on his channel or if he's happy with me to put it up here. But um, I'm really happy with the way the cars are actually behaving. I mean, the R Factor 2 is pretty good to start with, but this is this is pretty cool. It's not it's not being easy. It's not making it easy for me. Oh mate, just stuck his nose in there. Had to go. Oh mate's run wide. So I've got them set to also make um, mistakes as well to make it more realistic. I think it's adding to the experience. Just as long as they all don't drop out and I just come first by default. So we're up to third. Certainly not really gaining, am I? I'm really attacking those curves too. Great AI line around here. I, I ran the um, the Datsuns around here, and I just could not keep up. It's like they were just stuck to the stuck to the surface. Quite a technical corner that one. You really feel like you want to attack as you're coming over the brow, but you can't. You've got to you've got to let it go until you're on the downhill. Oh, I've run wide, I've run wide. Has he got me? I think he's gonna get me. He's right there. No, he hasn't come down on me, which is good. Oh yes! Oh Okay, so he really is attacking. Okay, I've got him. Jeez, these guys are really having a crack sideways through that first corner there. Oh, sideways again. Oh, mate's having a go at me. I bought those couple of corners there. Let's get this apex right and get the power down. Should have swapped my wheel out too. I was running the the round wheel because obviously the USF 2000s had a round wheel, and then jumped into these and completely forgot that they were actually on a modern wheel. There is a glitch as well with these cars in replay. They all one of the layers, the texture layers, causes them all in certain lighting conditions to come out all white. So hopefully, during this replay, it doesn't happen. But if it does. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh, mate, they're having a real go at me. Oh. 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 Sideways there. They do step out, that's for sure. When you're really pushing these cars, they step out. Ten turns here, and all of them are pretty technical. This track really does tick all of my kind of my boxes for a classic layout. You've got bank turns, you've got sweeping corners, very engaging circuit. You don't get bored driving here. It's a heap of fun in the Datsuns too. Just very hard to uh, compete with them. Stuff that up. Could have been bad. You want to touch the uh, touch the dirt with your tyre there. Push it straight into the wall. What are these guys doing? I like the 
looks great on the track there. Okay, let's see if we can get past. Let's try to guard. He's made a mistake. Oh! <laughs> That was lucky. Alright, can we catch old mate? Can we catch old mate? In second, we are on lap. Okay, so that's 10 down. Oh, no, no, we're not going to catch him driving like that. catch him. Quite a technical left hander that one. You have to go out wide but it's, it's on a funny angle that apex. I don't think I'm going to get him on this run. I don't think so anyway. Let's be the last lap now. Come on, come on. That was better. Both of us stepped out there. Got a better run through there. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Oh, I've locked it, I've locked it, I've locked it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I've got to defend, come on. Can I get a better run out of here? Go, come on, get the draft, get the draft. No, we're not gonna do it, we're not gonna do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. Oh well, second, not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.